What's up, Rebels? I'm on location here in Ponta Vedra Beach, Florida. I think. I'm not exactly sure that's how you say it. But I'm here to play TPC Sawgrass, one of the best golf courses in the world, and it's world famous Island Green 17th hole. So why am I telling you about golf? Because if it weren't for starting my golf site on a random weekend five years ago, I would not be here now. Starting that site has led to so many incredible experiences, wonderful people that I've met, and even a business that I had no intention of starting. So why am I telling you this now? Because I truly believe that if you wanna start a lifestyle business online, but you're not sure how to go about it, you don't necessarily have any great ideas, that building an online asset and going through this process is the single best thing you can do. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step the exact process I went through to create Breaking 80 as I was getting going, and my guess is that not only are you gonna start building confidence in your own abilities, but you're gonna come up with some ideas for your own brand and your own business as well. So I gotta to drive to Orlando right now for the PGA show, so we're gonna go do that. I'll catch up with you back at the hotel and we'll get right into it. All right, we're in Orlando. Had a nice uh, full morning of meetings at the uh, PGA show, but uh, gonna take a little break and we're gonna talk about how to build an online asset because I think this is the single best thing. Someone who wants to start an online business but has no clue how to get started, this is the best way to do it. Follow the process in this video and you won't regret it. And I need to get up and go somewhere else because I really feel like taking a nap right now. This bed's really comfy. Thanks, Hyatt. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so first off, something I want you to keep in mind as you're going through this process is the whole point of doing this is just to take an action, to make forward progress. So don't worry about stressing on like all the details, everything can be changed. And frankly, this might not be something you ever keep or do anything with. But the whole point is to get you over that hump of being like, what do I do next? And give you an action to take. So step number one, you're gonna need an idea. And my best advice for getting going is choose something that you like. So like I said, don't overthink this. The whole point of going through this process is to help you build the skills, create your first asset, get over that hump of taking action. So, so don't stress about this. If you've got a hobby, if you've got something that you enjoy doing in life, that is a perfect thing to use for this exercise. So for me, I started with golf. This is kind of how Breaking 80 came about. If you're into food or restaurants, you could create a site around that. If you're into knitting or fishing or coffee or travel or whatever it is, this is a great opportunity to use those ideas as an online asset. So that's step number one. All you have to do, come up with an idea. It doesn't have to be a good idea. It just has to be an idea. So step number two, you're gonna need to buy a domain. So again, don't overthink this. A couple tips to keep in mind when you're buying a domain is a .com is best, but anything else will work. Uh, try not to use too many dashes. It doesn't look very professional if you've got www.your-domain-here.com or whatever it is. And finally, when you're buying a domain, make sure it's pretty readable and legible. So when I had seanogle.com, I can't tell you how many times people emailed me and they said, yeah, I went to your domain. At first I was like, what's a Seanogle? So even though that's my name and that's kind of how it worked. Uh, you want to try and make sure that it's very clear. There's all sorts of examples of people that picked really bad domain names. So I'll see if I can find a link and toss that below. Step three, you're going to need a hosting provider. So basically a host is just where your website lives. It's where that information is stored. So I have two main recommendations for that. If you're just getting going and this is the first time you've ever gone through this process, then I would check out Bluehost. There's a link below. Uh, great shared hosting. It's very inexpensive and they've got awesome customer service. But if you're at a point where you know that this is a business that you really want to grow and build and this is going to be your thing, then I would check out WP Engine, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's faster. It's more secure. Their customer service is also great. That's what I put my websites on now. Step number four, buy your hosting and set up WordPress. Both of those hosts and just about any other host these days uh, will have one click WordPress install so you literally don't have to do anything. It used to be a long complicated process and the good news is now it's not. So with any host, you should be good to go. So step number five 
is you need to find and install a theme. So I get most of my themes at themeforest.com. You can check it out. You know, most of them are gonna range in the like 35 to $60 range. Uh, I think it's worth investing in a premium theme. It's gonna make the install process and the customization process a lot easier, especially if you're not technical. Uh, but there are still plenty of decent free WordPress themes out there as well. So you can Google free WordPress themes, see if you find one you like, and if not, I would check out Theme Forest and they've got thousands of different themes you could potentially use. So now you've got your idea. You've got your domain, you've got your hosting, your theme is starting to take shape, you're starting to see the look and feel of your site come together. So the next thing you need to do is you need to sign up for an email service provider. So basically the most valuable thing you can do on your asset is grow your email list. This is allowing you to stay in touch with people that have already shown that they're interested in the same information that you're providing. So for the purposes of this exercise, I would recommend MailChimp or Drip. Uh, the reason I recommend those is because they're free and I want this whole thing to be as low friction as possible. Like this is something you should be able to sit down and in half a day, bang out and create this asset. Uh, Drip is probably the one I would lean towards because as you grow, it's gonna be much more advanced and give you a lot more features, but that also means it's gonna be more expensive in the process. So uh, depending on what you're looking for, you can do a little bit of research and pick out the ones you want. For those asking, I've been using ConvertKit for the last couple of years and I think it's excellent. Uh, but again, they don't have a free account. I think it starts at about $29 a month. So that's one I would definitely check out as well. Step seven install Google Analytics. This is going to allow you to get an unbelievable amount of data on your website. You'll be able to see in real time uh, where people are tuning in from, what pages they're on, exactly how many people have visited your website, exactly how long they've been on your website. You can get so much data that's gonna be really, really valuable. And the best part, it's free. So just Google, go to Google Analytics and there'll be plenty of instructions for how to get it installed, but it's generally pretty easy. So for step number eight, we're gonna go through and we're gonna register social accounts for all of the major social media networks. So you've got your name, you've got your brand that's kind of built around your idea uh, for your online asset. So I would go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest, and I would register your brand name. Um, you might not be able to get the exact thing you're looking for these days, uh, but try and get it as close as possible. And even if you're not planning on being super active with those, it's best to have it just in case you do decide to go that route. There's also a service called NameCheck, which I highly recommend for this process because you can type in what name you're looking for and it will tell you if it's available on all those different social media networks. So it makes it super easy, highly recommended. And finally, now it's time to just start creating some content on your new site. You've got a hobby, you've got this thing that you've built the site around, so it's something you're an authority in, it's something you're interested in. So start writing, which will allow the search engines to find you, it'll allow people on social media to find you, and you can start connecting with other people that are interested in the same thing that you are. So I know that was a pretty broad overview and I skipped a lot of the dirty details, but like I said, locationrebel.com slash online dash asset. We break everything down, we send you all the links, we give you all the information you need to implement the thing we just talked about right here. Uh, you can see the link that should have been just shown above. And I wish you all the best with this. I'm a huge fan of this process. I can't believe what starting my golf site has allowed me to do. I actually in 10 minutes have to run back out to the PGA show for another slew of meetings. Um, and I wouldn't be here were it not for going through this process that we just talked about here. So I think it's super valuable and I think that everybody should start building that asset because you never know where it's gonna take you. So if you enjoyed this, I hope you will give us a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every Thursday that are going to help you build a business that allows you to do more of the things you wanna do in life because nobody wants to sit behind a desk forever working for someone who doesn't appreciate them. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to check that link on locationrebel.com to get all the details for exactly what we just talked about. All the links, all the helpful tools, all that stuff is in that post. So check it out. I gotta run back to the show now for another slew of meetings, and I will see you next week back in Portland. Thanks again. Peace.